Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, what I'm going to hope to do in this video is show you how I have managed to uh, configure my Mac computers uh, for doing OS updates and updates to applications and um, plugins and that type of thing. I've not really seen anyone explaining this. There's been some on some tech channels and that sort of thing, but I think it's a really useful thing for anyone who's got a sort of mission critical Mac uh, used for sort of video or sound applications. And I'm well aware that some studios and other people will not update their Mac and have quite old operating systems just because they're um, petrified that if they update the Mac or update software it then won't work which will cost them time in having to rebuild the computer and downtime which is obviously costs money. So what I do is I actually install on the computer a second um, volume, a, a hard disk partition that's a, a separate volume, and have a different or another version of Mac OS installed on that. Uh, and then you are able to boot from that partition to test operating system updates. So you only install it on that test partition and therefore... Um, be able to you know run on that test it and then implement it onto your uh, main partition if it runs nicely plays nicely and uh, after you've tested it so i'm going to run through how to configure that and uh, do it on a mac computer um, i have actually just uh, got hold of a new uh, mac um, which is going to be part of my live stream rig so it's a mac mini it's an m1 uh, mac mini um, I've currently got a live rack which I'm going to do a, an update video of um, which has two computers in it as I'm running tracks and video on a package called QLab on, um, on the Mac um, and I have a main Mac and a backup Mac and I updated my backup one which is slightly older uh, to a you know slightly older uh, Mac but one that's M1 um, so this, this will be my backup Mac uh, it's quite a, a low spec one. It's two five six gigabyte, uh, you know, storage and eight gigabyte memory, uh, which is absolutely fine for running QLab uh, for what I'm doing. Um, I think my files on there are only about thirty or forty gig of video and sound files, and um, QLab's quite quite efficient. It seems to run nicely in eight gigabyte uh, memory, um, and um, I don't have anything else on it. So um, it works well for me. So I'm going to configure this. I've got a clean install of the latest uh, operating system on there. And I've actually copied on all of the files. I've done a migration from the other uh, Mac that I use, the main one, over to this computer. So it's a direct duplicate of that computer. And I'm going to install a um, hard disk partition. So uh, I'm going to be swapping between sort of camera views and, and uh, feeds in. I've got this feed going into um, uh, my other Mac that I'm recording on in the studio. And I'll show you how I configure it. OK, so let's get started. I'll just swap to a, a different view. OK, so what I'm going to do is to get this to boot up in the sort of setup uh, mode, I'm going to uh, boot it on and press and hold down uh, the power button. So I'm just going to press it and you can hear, hopefully hear it starting up there. I'm keeping my finger on the button until I actually see uh, the startup come up. Which hopefully won't take too long. So there we are. Um, we've got our the actual hard disk um, which I can actually boot from, the Macintosh HD, and I've got the Options tab, so I'm going to select that and click Continue. And it will actually take a few moments to boot up, so I'll probably uh, fast forward that a bit. And it comes up to the Mac OS recovery. Now, because I've actually got a version of Mac OS already installed on this computer, it wants you to um, actually put in your password, so I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to drag my password, my keyboard out actually, and um, quickly log in. So put my password in there. And it brings you up to a little menu 
where you can reinstall your software. Um, obviously, go to Safari to do something. You can restore Time Machine. Um, and there's a few other options which you can actually select by going up to the top. So there are some, some other options and tools up there. But the one I'm actually going to use first is go to Disk Utility and click Continue. And that brings up the Mac OS Disk Utility. So what I'm going to do is select the um, actual main hard disk, which is the Macintosh HD. You might possibly have it called something else. Now, obviously on this little thing here you can see that there's quite a lot of used space and that's actually the current install of the operating system and all of the files and applications that I've got installed on this machine. So that's actually uh, currently 112 gigabytes and I've actually got 125 free and this little bit in the middle is other volumes which is actually the kind of um, uh, setup you know in uh, restore software uh, which allows you to sort of restore your computer if you need to so i've got all of this um to play with and i'm actually going to install a um 80 gig um uh partition on here so what i'm going to do with this hard disk selected i'm actually going to bring that over slightly um i'm going to go to partition click on that and what i'm going to do is actually um, click the plus uh, button down here to create a new um, sort of partition but it's actually going to be a volume um, so rather than clicking add partition I'm going to add a volume so this is going to appear as a separate drive and I click that and I can give it a name so what I tend to do for mine and you, you can call it whatever you like uh, I call mine test Whoops. test partition it's selected the cor uh, correct um, file format or you know drive format for um, latest Mac operating systems and um, I'm going to click add there we go. and it's added that and it's all done happy days so as you can see, I've only got a small amount of free space now um, because I've actually allocated um, an amount. And you can see up here now, I've got a test partition um, as well as the main Macintosh hard disk. So you can see there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is exit out of um, uh, this. And I'm just going to press the red button. And it brings me back to... Um, this page and what we want to do now is install Mac OS um, onto this other partition so I'm going to select reinstall Mac OS Sequoia uh, click continue and click continue and you need to make sure you've got an internet connection uh, connected which is actually up in the top corner up there and this will take some time it's going to load all the install information. Depends how fast your network is. I'll speed this up. And then you need to agree. And agree again. And then it brings up your different hard disks that you can actually choose. So I've already got Mac OS installed on my Macintosh hard disk. So I need to now install it on my test partition. So I'm going to click continue. I need to um, select and validate by um, the owner of the new volume, which is actually the computer. So I'm going to click on that, click install, and it will ask me to put in my password again. So I'll do that. And then it will ask you to set a password um, for the for the new uh, partition so I'm just going to use the same one again and it's indicating it's going to take about three hours um, so we'll come back to this when it's um, actually finished installing in a few hours time
So it's now booted back up. So what I'm going to do is click and what we can do now is install Mac OS. So I'm not going to do that. And so I'll do that later. And you select dark mode. And we're there. So I'm just going to make sure to quickly set up the keyboard. And we're actually now able to get our computer all set up. Um, at this point, you can install your kind of main app or apps that you're using, um, you know, so that you can update them on this partition. Um, I mean, you can actually access other drives. Um, you know, your on, on your um, main drive and load apps from there. But obviously, if you want to test uh, updates, then this is the, the best place to have a, a second version of them installed on here. Um, and that's it, really. So this is now a almost like a separate computer running on your um, computer, which you can use to test updates. Um, Obviously, if you are a heavy user of plugins or virtual instruments, you're going to need to buy a unit with a big enough hard disk um, to be able to install all of those uh, plugins and that sort of thing. Although, realistically, you can actually do this on a um, reasonably fast, you know, SSD external drive um, and just have a version of OS X, you know, set up on that drive. Um, and then to boot onto it, you just need to press and hold the power button on a Mac Mini, or if it's one of the newer um, sort of laptop Macs, you press and hold the you know power fingerprint button, um, and again press and hold it, and it will come on in the um, you know sort of setup mode, you know, with different drives on it, recovery mode, I think they call it. So um, that's the best way to do it. Um, that's what certainly what I do and I do update my operating systems and new versions of Logic and that type of thing um, but only once I have fully tested it um, I run a studio which uses uh, Dante um, and uh, a lot of other technology so I will really want to make sure everything runs properly before I actually install it. I uh, hope that's been a uh, help um, as always with these things uh, if you can like the video and uh, subscribe, that would be really helpful. Um, thanks very much. Take care. Bye.